Hi, this is John. Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick for Thomcraft version 6. In this episode, we're going to look into Infusion Enchantment. So Infusion Enchantment is going to require a couple of theories in Arcade Infusion. I did want to show you a couple of changes in my setup. Um, I have made a duplicate uh, Sedia Smelter and all the bottles on the other side are the jars. And this is because at times you're going to need more than 250 V to do an infusion. And we'll see that today. So, um, also, uh, I wanted to show you that you don't have to use pipes for these things. These emptying Essentia Transfusures can work like that. So they toss the coal in there, and they will draw in the Ignis, Perditio, and Prudentia from wherever they can. And that makes it a really neat, and also, you can see cool particle effects coming from all across the room. So, and you can set up more than one of these in the room if you want, or you can have multiple formulas. You know, whatever you want to do. So, just thought I'd show you that as well. So, let's go ahead and get started with learning about um, infusion enchantment. So, let's focus us for infusion theories. Okay, we can tinker and get artifice or get oromancy. That's not very helpful. All right, let's do that. Can reject aura fancy. I can gain 18 infusion with a zombie brain. Gain 20 oromancy. And some mortuse. Go find some zombie brains. Okay, so we'll get 18 infusion from this. All right, I can either get uh, alchemy or artifice. This is not what I was looking for. All right, whatever. Oh, I need an air and a terra crystal. I move these around too so I could easier, more easily access these things. Okay, so sculpting or, okay, modus and an iron pickaxe. Do I have modus and an iron pickaxe? Okay, so let's keep going here. We'll need iron pickaxe and modus. We've got that. We get 20 more infusion. Okay, I can do reactions and get alchemy or get alchemy. Well, okay, jellum and vitium. Let's get those things. Jellum and vitium. I think the dogs are mad at the skeletons. Okay, I can ponder. Oh, the skeleton shot a dog. Must be sad. All right, permutatio. There we go. Okay, I can reject arcane infusion. Don't want to do that. Or I can measure and get infusion. That's what I want. So let's do that. Inspired infusion. Perfect. That's what I want. Okay, I need a Spiritus and a Diamond. Well, a Diamond over here. All right, well, let's get some Spiritus then. Okay, so 18 more Infusion with my Diamond and Spiritus. Okay, I can get Artifice or Alchemy. Hmm. Aversio and Premunio. Let's get that. Aversio and Premunio. Okay, I can get Universal. I don't want that. I'll have to rethink. Let's see here. I can Ponder, Calibrate, or Awareness. Guess we'll do the Ponder. Okay, two theories in Arcane Infusion. Good enough. So, let's go ahead and complete this. So, Infusion Enchantment is similar to our Elemental Tools. Um... I told you most of those enchantments were not unique to those tools. Only some of them were. So the burrowing, which allows you to chop down trees. It also works on pickaxes, so you can chop down the farthest ore from where you're at. Uh, the collector draws things to you. It's not like the axe stream where it draws things from far away. It's only after you harvest them if they're kind of close by. Uh, destructive is the 3x3 mining tool, so you saw that on the shovel of the earth mover, but it also can work for pickaxes to make a nice mining tunnel. Uh, refining is how you get uh, native ore clusters. Sounding is how we found the ore, so the pickaxe of the core. Arcing is where you attack things and it hits other, machine, other uh, enemies back there. Now these two are not on any of the tools. Uh, Essence Harvester allows you to, when you kill mobs, you might gain some V crystals from that, which is kind of cool. Uh, Lamplighter, that's really cool. Uh, when you're out mining and you have uh, you don't have enough light down there, it will place light sources automatically. 
this is a good one. So I like to put destructive and lamp lighter on a pickaxe and see how it works. So destructive is going to take 250 Perdicio and 200 Diversio. We need an enchanted book, any pickaxe, and some TNT. And for the lamp lighter, we're going to need 20 air and 80 lux, any pickaxe again, niter, and enchanted book. It does not matter what enchantment the book has, just that it is an enchanted book. Now, uh, if you read in here, it also notices that it says uh, it increases the cost by 33% when you have different infusions. Um, so if we put burrowing or destructive and lamp lighter, we're going to need 33% more. Now, since destructive costs so much, I'm going to do that one first and then do the lamp lighter. But that will take uh, a third more, so it's going to be, you know, like 26 air and like I think 100 you know, looks or something. But I think I've got plenty of that. That's why I made the extra row over there of stuff and um, got some golden buddies too to, you know, empty these chests into there. I decided not to put alimentum in there anymore. It just wasn't that helpful because these guys get stuck waiting to put alimentum in there. So I just don't do that anymore. I'll just leave it in here and put it in there when I need it. So let's go start working on my pickaxe. Let me go grab a diamond pickaxe, I think. Okay, so I've got all my stuff. I'm pretty sure you can use any kind of pickaxe for this. So let's put this diamond one in here. Uh, enchanted book and some TNT. And let's see how it works. So again, 200 Aversio, 250 Perdicio. But uh, I should be able to draw that. I move the mirror to the center of the room. It should draw through here. And if it ran out, it should then draw from over this jar too. So... Um, but I believe both these jars are full right now, so it shouldn't cause a problem. Okay, well that took a while. So let's see here. I now have the destructive enchantment. Can I scan this again? I guess not. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing, but this time with the niter and enchanted book. So uh, it was supposed to cost 20 and 80, but it will actually cost 26 and uh, what was that? 110, 115? Something like that. All right, there we go. We've got lamp lighter and destructive. So that's a pretty cool tool. Let's go see how it works. Get my armor on, just in case. We'll go down a little mining tunnel real quick. Uh, let's just pick a place. So this has destructive, so I should be able to break a 3x3 three three pattern. And note that no matter um, how far in here I go, I should still get light sources. It's just going to keep placing light sources for me. And I don't need any torches at all. I don't go down there or anything. So, there you go. Lamp lighter, destructive, and infusion enchantment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.